One way that MATLAB uses vectors is to work with polynomials. And it turns out that this is something that makes MATLAB very powerful for manipulating and working with polynomials. And so we're going to talk about that now. So our objectives for this video is to learn how to use vectors to define polynomials in MATLAB. And then once we've done that, use MATLAB to evaluate a polynomial and use MATLAB to find the roots of a polynomial. So first of all, recall that polynomials have the general form where we would say a n times x to the n plus a n minus 1 times x to the n minus 1, etc. We would say n in this case is the order of the polynomial. For example, we might have a fourth order polynomial x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 7x plus 3. In MATLAB, we can define a polynomial just by defining a vector of the polynomial's coefficients. So a couple things about this is one, it goes from highest to lowest power of x. So this first one would be the x to the fourth coefficient, x cubed, x squared, x to the 1, and x to the 0. Now note here we have a 0 in the x squared place. We have to have that 0 in the x squared place. There's no, this is a 0 times x squared. There's no x squared term. But we need that 0 because MATLAB knows the order of the polynomial from the length of the coefficient vector. So here we have a coefficient vector with five elements and since that coefficient vector has five elements MATLAB knows this is dis defining a fourth order polynomial. So once we've defined a coefficient vector let's look at how we can use that to evaluate a polynomial. So Here's another example. We're going to evaluate this polynomial for a hundred values between negative 4 and 4. So the polynomial is f of x is equal to x cubed minus 1.5x squared minus 5.5x plus 3. The commands to do that are first we're going to define the coefficient vector and then I'll use the lin space function to create 100 equally spaced values between negative 4 and 4. Go back to the vector operations video or use the help function in MATLAB if you don't recall the lin space function. And then we'll use MATLAB's built-in polyval function, that's another built-in function, to evaluate the polynomial defined by P at the x values in the vector x. So in that function, p is the, the first argument to the function, or input is the coefficient vector, and the second is the x values. And then here's the output. This is partial output that I've shown here. Notice we don't really want to show all of the output for 100 values. That would take up the whole screen. So there's some of the values. The way to really look at what this polynomial looks like once it's evaluated is to plot it. So this will be our first introduction to plotting in MATLAB. We're going to cover this much more thoroughly next week. But let's look at a plot and then we'll talk about finding the roots. So it's pretty easy to plot in MATLAB. You use the plot command and the first argument to the plot command would be a vector of values for the x-axis. This is the x-axis. And then the second vector is the values, in this case our evaluated polynomial, for the y-axis. So here's our y-axis. Okay? So now we can see the shape of that polynomial. The grid command simply adds this grid that you see on the plot. Now one thing we commonly want to do with a polynomial is find the roots. Now the roots 
are where the polynomial crosses zero. So here's zero is this line. So we see that this is a cubic polynomial. So we would expect it to have three roots. We see one there, one there, one there. MATLAB has a built-in function to calculate those roots. And that built-in function is called roots. And it works by giving it an input p again. And that p is again that coefficient vector that defines the polynomial. And we see the roots are at x equals 3, x equals negative 2, and x equals 0.5. And we can see those here. Here's x equals negative 2, x equals 0 0.5, and x equals 3. OK? So now we're starting to use MATLAB to do some math that's not so easy to do um, by hand. Uh, most of our calculators these days can do this type of thing, though. And let's take a look at, say, once we have those roots, can we go the other way? So those roots, again, mean that that polynomial can be defined as the product of x minus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 0 0.5. So those are the roots of the polynomial. And we can, if we define that vector here in the vector r, we can use the poly function. Now r is a vector of the roots of the polynomial. And the poly function returns the coefficients. So again, this means that the polynomial now, f of x, it's the same one we've been working with. It's equal to x cubed minus 1.5 x squared minus 5.5 x plus 3. And hopefully you can see here that MATLAB has some pretty convenient tools for working with polynomials. And we'll come back to this next week when we talk about plotting. And we'll also talk a little bit about curve fitting. And that concludes this introduction to polynomials.